morning, everybody. Mike Brailsford with Brailsford Works. Big day in the shop today. Today I get my brand new robust American Beauty lathe. It's coming today. I can't wait. So all I gotta do is wait. I think I hear a truck. First thing we have is my steady rest. I've been planning to build one for years. I'm just too busy. So I've decided they offer one that's supposed to be really good. And so that's what I got. Look at that. Very heavy duty. I guess what you'd expect from a company called Robust. Wow. All right, there it is. There's a base plate to secure it to the, the ways. And let me tell you this something. This thing is very, very heavy duty. Wow. All right, on to more goodies. I bought the lamp kit for it. Uh, I have the lamp kit on my Laguna and I've always liked it and I like I think that's why I decided to go with the lamp kit with them as well it'll take more unpacking there's one head that must be one of the arms other arm some of the kit that's all the other stuff oh foremost we got the control I like that and I love this I also got the 
uh, the stop switch, foot stop switch. Oh, the other lamp. That will be put that on in a bit. Let's see. Owner's manual. Oh, I bought the caster kit. There's one there. Two. Three. Mounting pads. I also got the tool caddy. We'll put it on when we get it over into place. I got one of the small tool rests. I also got the 14 inch J shape tool rest. I do a lot of hollow form, so I think that's going to come in handy. I bought the vacuum chuck adapter. Um, uh, I don't have a vacuum generator yet, but I will get that. Let's see. I bought the cone center for the, uh, the live center. Here's the cup center drive. Oh, part of the jack for the caster kit. I believe this is the rest of that. Yep. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, that's the live center. And an Allen wrench. Let's see. Oh. Don't forget the knock rod. All right, I've got it off the pallet. I'm gonna put on the uh, casters and uh, and move it into place, into its home. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my tool caddy. All right, so I'm gonna move over a few of the other things. Uh, the threaded live center, so I can put a chuck on to the tailstock. My drill chuck that needs to go over there and honestly I think that's about it for that now we need to move on to installing the lights all right time to mount the lights Let's get them unwrapped Got to figure out how to mount the thing. The thing.
Okay, I've gone through my pre <laughs> my pre flight checklist, as they have recommended, and let's give her the go or blow. And we have turning. Uh, I like the slow ramp rate on it. That's nice. The controls feel nice and solid. Let's see. Does the foot switch operate? It does indeed. All right. Try it in reverse. Reverse works. Switch works in reverse. Excellent. Now, I'm going to eat some dinner. When I come back, I'm going to turn something. All right, so I got a piece of Norway maple on here. It's going to be my inaugural turn. I <clears throat> uh, might try to do a, a uh, hollow form. We'll see how it goes. There's some interesting figure on this, but there's a big knot here. We'll see what I can come up with. Let me get going on it. It takes some getting used to uh, not having the controls over there.
I want it uh, at the top. So I'm going to sand it to 400 on the top and then flip it around to get it. All right, so this is my first chance to use the tilt-away in earnest. So, uh, what am I doing wrong? There we go. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Got to get the marks out that I left on with a chuck when I put it uh, to the pedestal or the tenon, and I'll take that off and uh, I'll sand it up real quick, and it'll be done.
All right, this is it. My first turning on the, my brand new robust American Beauty. I'm pretty happy. Look at that figure in there. That is absolutely breathtaking. Yep. And I'm glad I left it all. I'm glad I even left this little piece of uh, natural edge right there. A little bug hole that was burrowed through there. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I'll do a, another video probably next week going over the features of the American Beauty and um, talk about it after I do a few more turnings so I can give you uh, my opinion on how I feel about it. But I will say right from this start with the first turning, I love it. I mean, it is absolutely spectacular. Um, I can't say enough about, <laughs> about the first impression. I mean, the thing is built like a tank and, uh, the name is not, um, uh, it's not in jest or an irony. It's, it's pretty well says what it is any rate uh thank you all for watching if you've gotten anything out of this please uh click like and subscribe um please leave me some comments i'd love to know what you think um if you have an american beauty I'd love to know what you think um if you have one of the other high-end lathes let me know what you think i'm i'm, I'm always interested um also, uh, everybody have a happy new year and please stay safe. Bye-bye.